is the price of art materials stopping you or preventing you from actually creating art? I think this is a real problem. If we've got some very expensive paints or some very expensive paper, there's that kind of scariness about ruining the, the pieces and it means that it stops you experimenting. So in this week's tutorial in Doodle Club, we're going to be using children's crayons, children's colouring pencils, a bit of chalk, a bit of charcoal, some poster paint and some ready mix paint. It's really, really cheap. And I want to just encourage you, as always, to play. Welcome. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Kate Field. I'm an artist, teacher and a speaker and passionate about helping people find their creative spirit and just start. <laughs> and, and if you are coming back here again, week after week, thank you. And how lovely you are. <laughs> so this week for me is going to be very busy. So I'm actually going to record this one and my Friday art class on the same day because I'm doing a dance workshop Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, which uh, I am very much looking forward to and I will tell you all about next time. So we're going to get going. You're not going to need very much equipment and we're just going to dive in and have some fun. Are you ready? Let's go. So I am going to use some just everyday art stuff, mainly used for um, for children. And so it's really cheap. <laughs> I've got things from the pound shop, from Hobbycraft, um, sort of this sort of ready mix paint. And the whole point of this exercise, this tutorial today, is for you to really get into playing and not worrying about how much everything costs. I'm going to be inspired by um, one of my favourite artists over on Instagram, actually, called Janet Skate, Skates, sorry, <laughs> Janet Skates, and I'll link to her page because she's definitely worth following. We're going to start off by using some jumbo crayons and I've got my double page sketchbook here and we're going to start off by just drawing in some sort of egg type shapes there. They're definitely not circles. <laughs> Let's uh, pop that in. Let's really do want this playful feel about um, this tutorial because it's when we play that we can really start to expand our ideas without that fear of um, making a mistake. So here we go. Nice sort of little eggs, uh, if you like. And then in each one, we're going to use our crayons to make marks. And again, you know, the, these, these are, are, are kids crayons, so they're not going to be really intense with the colours. Uh, they're just great for playing around really and if you saw my um, Friday art tutorial when I went through my whole process of starting off with an idea and developing developing it through to a canvas this is the sort of thing that I might do right at the beginning you know just sort of not using expensive things to just play around with an idea and, and it's that kind of what if what if I did that what would happen then and you know of course it might be an absolute disaster <laughs> but you don't know do you you don't know until you give it a go and this is the sort of thing that I will do with my children's groups as well especially my tinies because I'll be um, teaching my tinies this week so they're all sort of five, five and six <laughs> and they're just fabulous because um, cause they don't care. They don't care about making a mistake. It's just joyful, utterly, utterly joyful teaching them. So I'm just 
scribbling, really. Scribbling with these colours, seeing seeing what uh, marks I can make. You do have to press quite hard. And so I'm standing up while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I have mentioned our posture when we create. And, you know, and if you are able to stand, it is good to create when you're standing up. You can get a bit more energy. Obviously, if you can't, then you can't. When I'm doing my fine detail work, then I, I will often um, sit down. But then I have to kind of make sure that I get up and have a bit of a stretch and you know, that kind of that kind of thing. So I'm putting putting together these again very roughly. Let's just pop that one in. There we go. We, oh, let's just put that one in there. And then I have my sort of double page of little wiggly messes, <laughs> which, uh, which is great. So I've put some poster paint on. This is just very cheap poster paint um, in the UK. I think it cost, they cost me a pound, so, which is uh, really good. And you can find your own in your own kind of um, stores. I'm using an egg carton and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some marks in some of the spaces with this. There we go. Just dipping the uh, egg carton just into the paint directly and then just using it as a stamp Not liking that but it's all very jolly isn't it all very jolly uh, weather update here in southwest england the sun is shining the sky is blue it's gorgeous really lovely so i'll probably go down to the beach later Thank you for all your lovely comments. Love hearing what's happening in the world, in uh, in the weather. <laughs> I hope um, my American friends had a joyful Independence Day celebrations. Um, really lovely hearing hearing what you get up to. Oh, let me do that. There we go. That's there. Yeah. I'm, I am liking this. I'm going to leave that to dry for a little bit and then I'm going to do some more work over the top. Well, this is dry now and I'm now just going to use a bit of charcoal and this gets messy. I'm going to put just sort of putting some, some marks, charcoal marks and charcoal marks on top of the wax crayons is, is really interesting you get some very um, interesting textures when you do that i'm just sort of putting putting some lines across so i'm going to be you know doing a little bit on here just playing playing around with some ideas some will work some won't that's kind of how it goes and what i then will then do is to take an element of this and develop it further. So similar to the tutorial that I did last week when I did start to finish from an idea, develop the idea on to a finished canvas. So if you haven't looked at that, you might want to, to, to watch that one um, later. Don't go away now. You need to watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> you could watch that one. Um, so this is a kind of a, a similar sort of thing where I'm just going to show you how I develop an idea and then how you can develop an idea. Now, I like using charcoals, uh, charcoal as a, as a background, as, as mark making, because I think you can get some very interesting, um, just, just 
interesting stuff that, that I, I like <laughs> and it makes me happy so the things have got to make you happy and, and I am definitely going through a kind of a messy stage in my art at the moment I have been doing some very very detailed drawing and illustration but and I think that's probably why I've I need to uh, be a bit more expressive and a bit more um, have a bit more energy in uh, in what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm going to put a bit more the crayon on this, making that. That's quite fun. If you're not sure about ideas or you're not sure about colours or mark making, then you know, don't use your expensive paints. And your paper just go out and get some children's crayons and just have a bit of a play with those see I'm, I'm quite liking this I'm quite liking the grunginess it's, uh, it's very scribbly and I quite like it so I'm going to use my viewfinder uh, I use different sizes of viewfinders quite frequently but it's a helpful Thing to just sort of have a look, turn things round, see which bits appeal to you. It's a very good way to learn composition. I've said that quite a few times in my tutorials and, it, and when I'm teaching um, students I will make sure that they have a really good understanding of, of composition and what works and what what doesn't work. So this is quite an interesting piece in just this this section but I also quite like that one with those lines there breaking up the space so I'm going to take this idea and just develop it a little bit further and I'm quite liking this sort of idea as well so I might do a couple of those so I've taken photographs so that I can work in the same sketchbook. If you're working on separate pieces of paper, obviously you can just use the image, your original image. Again, I'm not going to use anything fancy. I'm going to stick to my crayons and my poster paint. I'm going straight in with crayons in the first bit. I'm going to keep with these colours then I'm going to sort of do some slightly different things because that's the whole point of developing. You're trying out something slightly different to the thing that you had before. So though I'm kind of keeping these, these colours in at the moment, I'm going to just sort of try something a little bit different. Uh, putting these in. Right now, I've got my charcoal because I do like this sort of how the space is broken up with that. Um, you could use a blender. I actually prefer to use my fingers. But if that's too messy for you, <laughs> if you are a much tidier person than me then use a bit, yeah, a bit of tissue or a, or a blending tool. Uh, this just chalk, a bit of chalk over the top. You see I'm working quite quickly because I'm just playing with an idea. I, you know, I know I, I use the, the, the term playing um, a lot because I just feel that it is so important as an artist, we we have to play. We have to allow ourselves the playfulness so that we can then grow. So I'm leaving that one. It's quite messy. I'm not sure where, where I'm going with it. And I'm just going to go on to the next one here on my iPad. Gonna put it here. 
So I quite like this kind of blobby bit. And then another, another sort of bit there and a bit there. Let's uh, just put some scribbly lines in here. Quite liking these. And again, it's it, it, this might not turn into anything at all. It might just be me practicing skills. Because I'm a very firm believer in if you want to learn how to do something, you just have to keep doing it. You know, we are not necessarily born at being able to do all of these things. We have to practice. Which is one of the reasons why I think um, talent, or the word talent, and that sort of is, is just overrated. Um, because you could be you know, extremely talented at something, but then don't actually put in the effort and uh, nothing will happen. Or you'll, you'll have reasonable success, but it's practice that, uh, that will get you to the places where you want to go. So I, am, I am quite liking this layering. I'm thinking that that works quite well. And again, I'm just, these are just ordinary children's crayons to create these. Right, let's um, go into my last one that I was going to do here. And um, before I start putting a bit of paint, so again, I've got this kind of like blobby orange bit up here. It makes me very sad when people say that they're no good at art because they can't draw or you know, they, they don't have ideas because you know, we're human beings and human beings are naturally creative. And it's how we develop our creativity that makes the difference. Um, and I was very lucky in that when I was a child, I was encouraged to try new things. My parents introduced me to arts and crafts and dance and music. And I am forever grateful to them for that. Uh, because so many people have very negative experiences of when they're little and that, that can just put them off for life. That's just very, very sad. Again, I'm just putting the charcoal and chalk on top of the crayon. So look at the state of me. <laughs> I love it. Just going to use a tissue to take off some of the surplus dust. And then I'm going to add some poster paint. I put some poster paint in my palette. I've got toilet roll and an egg carton to make some marks. So, yeah. I love making marks with stuff that's just lying around, especially stuff that's going to be thrown away. And uh, my lovely husband, he will always say, you know, do I, do I throw this away or um, do, are you going to need it for something? <laughs> and sometimes it's just silly and I think, no, I'm not going to use that. That's just, that's silly, even for me. So uh, we have this sort of lovely kind of circle from the egg carton. Putting it on there. And I've got this blank space here. I do like working on a double double page actually, so I'm just gonna put some marks here. Oh, there's a couple there as well. So this is similar to um 
things that I've done in the past. Oops. Let's put a few, a few like that. Look at that. How lovely is that? Oh, it's the sim the simple things make me happy. <laughs> Let's, um, I've got a bit of a bit of cream colour here. Looks a bit like putty, actually. Um, I'm just going to put some marks over the top. Some of this. Let's smudge some of those. Again, just sort of breaking up some of the shapes just as we play with an idea. Like that. So while I'm waiting for that one to dry, I thought I would uh, do some more on separate pieces of paper that I will then use for collage. So I, I just used the leftover paint on the palette. So here we go. It's not still not quite dry here, but that's okay because uh, we can work work around it. I'm going to go now in with my crayon and where some of the paint is still a bit wet, you can see that it will smudge. And I just wanted to have an idea, or just have an, ex an experiment really of what that might look like. <laughs> just that curiosity. And I quite like it, I quite like it. these. I have been creating quite a lot of collage papers um, over the last week or so because I do want to do some more collage and I've been creating some uh, ephemera papers. I mean I collect my own from charity shops and junk shops and that kind of thing but I do quite like the idea of making my own so I've been doing that and I've created some as a, a download so if you'd like to have a look at those I will put the link in the description if that's something you'd like to look at oh there we go um, and there's also freebies as well so you can have a, have a look at look at that this is this is quite seriously messy isn't it I'm, I'm quite liking it <laughs> it's the sort of thing that makes me happy there we go now some of you were asking about um getting your work ready for shows and exhibitions and so i will be doing a tutorial on how to do that but others, you might think, oh my goodness, that has got to be one of the scariest things ever. Um, <laughs> and you might not be quite there yet. But, you know, why not? Why not? So, just sort of thinking about the, the shapes that I can use here on this page. Actually, those separate pieces are quite good in their own right. Let's just put some squares in, see what goes with that. Oh, I'm quite, yeah, quite like that. I like the texture with the, the wax crayon and the charcoal. Okay, right, we're going to do one more in this doodle club let me just oh yeah this my sketchbook is very very eclectic because i do lots of my lessons in this sketchbook so there's just <laughs> so it's quite it's quite busy and so i kind of like dive into a space that i haven't used before <laughs> 
I'm sure your sketchbook is much more organised than mine. Right, let's go on to the next bit. So this is one of the pieces of paper that uh, I did my leftover bits on. And I'm just going to go in with my crayon on some of this, some of it which is still wet. Just building up that, keeping to this colour theme at the moment. in the comments what what you're doing what you think what you're going to do what you're planning um and the weather update so <laughs> we always like to have a weather a weather update it's beautifully sunny today yesterday it poured with rain the whole time and i was dancing and we were dancing outside um as part of an arts festival and i got really wet very very wet but we had a great audience it was brilliant <laughs> the uh, British stoicism I think was coming out with a bit of rain <laughs> we're not going to stop dancing just because of a bit of rain So that is kind of where I'm going with this one, which I like. And then what I'm going to do is to tear some of these into strips. Which I will then be using in collage. I will be doing um, another tutorial specifically on collage later on and I will show you that. I'll show you the, some of the things that I'm going to do with these. I've torn some shapes from that one sheet and I'll do a few more. And I'm going to put them, put them into my sketchbook again. Thinking about the things that I I like the uh, the shapes. I actually, really like this paper. I will definitely um, create more paper like this. I really like it. Which reminds me, this is something that. I tell all of my students to do and do I do it myself no I don't so <laughs> I have to do it now and that is telling myself what I have just done so I'm gonna hear papers created using wax crayons charcoal and poster paint and then I know how I've done it because frequently I will go back into my sketchbooks from months ago years ago and think how did I do that I really like it how did I do it <laughs> it's rubbish <laughs> not um, writing it down and for my A-level students and my foundation degree students um, you have to track what you're doing it's sort of part of the part of the process and I've just got very lazy and not done it myself so practicing what I'm preaching hmm a little bit bad about that I'm going to play around with these shapes I'm going to stick them on this double double page and then I'll go back to the other one so I've come back to this one I'm going to do um, a little bit more sort of charcoal not very much, just going to sort of play with this idea of maybe a bit, a bit of a shadow, imagining the light coming in, it's you know, that kind of idea. 
just to give it a bit more depth, I think. But I actually really like the technique of, of, of the wax crayon and the charcoal. So that's, uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'll develop those ideas a little bit more myself, I think. But yeah, just putting in a bit, a bit more a bit more smudgy bits. Here we go. Like that. And that one I'm going to leave in my sketchbook. Let's just turn to the other page where I did my collage. I've got that, those collage pages pieces. I'm really liking these very much. And then I've got this one that I will also use to create some collage pieces with. So I hope you've got lots of ideas and uh, I think you're going to have some fun. I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and you're allowing yourself to play a little bit more. Let me know in the comments. I read every single one and Oh my goodness, thank you so much for those of you who just contribute regularly. And if you want to join the Facebook group, which is so friendly, it's such a lovely place, the link is below. And if you want to watch more, you could look at this one or this one. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.